this video you will learn how to design an edentulous surgical guide with 3Shape Implant Studio. At the surgical guide step, you can design a surgical guide based on your implant planning. The initial guide will be generated automatically and is based on the denture scan and the implant planning. You can change the height and diameter of the sleeve support cylinders by dragging the green control handle around the cylinder. You can choose between three guide types, a regular guide, a two-piece guide and a dual guide. The regular guide has both anchor pins and normal sleeves included. You can use this for patients with a normal bite and mouth size. A two-piece guide is a guide in two pieces that fit on top of each other. The bottom piece is as small as possible and contains both the anchor pin supports and sleeve supports. The second piece goes on top of the bottom piece and has the teeth from the denture on it. This is useful if you have accessibility concerns as you can remove the top piece before starting to drill for the implant placements. The dual guide is actually two guides. They do not fit together like the two-piece guide, but are two separate guides with the exact same placement of the anchor pins as they are designed simultaneously in Implant Studio. The dual guide is the perfect option for edentulous cases, where you have accessibility concerns and where guide alignment to the opposing jaw is critical. After choosing a guide type, it may be necessary to adjust the sleeve support cylinders using the green control points. If needed, add glue channels to the sleeve support cylinders by clicking the Add Glue Channels button. By clicking the Select Sleeve button, you will open up the sleeve selector, where you can choose between different sleeve types. At the Modify Fixation substep, you can remove excessive material on the fixation piece of the guide if needed. Press and hold Shift and scroll the mouse wheel to change the diameter of the sphere to modify the area of removal. To delete the marked areas, click the red Remove icon. Click Preview to see the result when you are done marking. On the ID Tag substeps, you can add ID tags to both surgical guide pieces. You can change the default ID tag by typing in the ID Tag text field. Move the mouse cursor over the guide and move the ID tag to where you wish to place it. Left click the guide to place the ID tag. You can adjust the size of the tag or add more tags if needed. When the guide design is finalized, click Next to proceed to the save step. Preview the surgical report before approval by clicking the Show Surgical Report button. If you are satisfied with it, you can proceed to the approvals. You can approve the implant planning and surgical guide individually. Click the corresponding check boxes for approval. A warning message will appear, informing you that after the approval, you will not be able to edit the implant planning or the surgical guide. Click Yes if you agree and wish to proceed. A drill protocol will be generated after you approve the case, which you can view by clicking Show Drill Protocol in the Approval window. The order will be saved and the output will be generated. After the case has been approved and saved, you are only able to review the planning and the guide. Click Next to save the results and return to the patient or case manager. You have now prepared an implant treatment for an edentulous patient. Thank you for watching.